Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial video. In this video we're going to be looking at using the Extrude and Revolve tools. So we're going to be using the Extrude and Revolve tools. So let's have a look at these now. So we're getting quite familiar with this view of uh, our drawing plane here. We've got our X and Y axes and the Z axis pointing straight up at the moment. Uh, the good news is that a lot of the skills that we've seen on the 2D CAD uh, videos will now start to come in extremely useful. So the first thing we're going to do is, is get this into a view that we're comfortable with that we've, we're used to drawing on. So if we select custom view over here and then select top, uh, we've now got a uh, view of the XY plane that we're quite comfortable working on that we've been working on quite a lot. Now I'm going to draw two rectangles here. I'll just put my ortho snap on. So just draw two rectangles. Now you'll notice with this rectangle I am using the line tool and then if I come over here and use the polyline tool and create another rectangle, the sizes of these don't really matter very much. Uh, so let's just create uh, two rectangles, one made with a line and then this one made with a polyline. Now to get back to our uh, view that we, we started to get used to, uh, we click southeast isometric up here and then we've got our two rectangles and now we're in a, a more isometric view. So if we now select the extrude tool uh, and select objects to extrude, uh, if we select these objects here and try to extrude these, can you see what we've got there now is, is sort of like a hollow box and it's not even really a very accurate representation of a box because what we're extruding here are lines and that means that these lines technically don't have any real thickness so that means that this is not a very good way of extruding a solid object so we can uh, put that there and we've we've extruded uh, kind of planes really however over here this was created with a polyline if we extrude here now and select the polyline when we uh, select this so again hit enter at this point you can see there that we're creating a solid object like that. So we've got now a solid extrusion there. And that really is uh, the lovely simplicity uh, of the uh, extrusion tool. Uh, however, there is a way uh, of getting around this problem that we've created here where perhaps we want a solid object and we haven't got one. So let's have a look at what that is. So let's get rid of these objects here because they're not much good to us. So they're gone now. So if we now uh, go to the draw uh, panel and extend that and then have a look down here at the region button which is that one there. So if we select that one uh, and then it asks us to select the objects that you want. So these objects will bound the region that we're interested in. So we've selected all four of those lines hit enter and as you can see there we've created this greyed out face now. So if we now want to extrude that we simply go to this and there we go we've got a solid extrusion now. So that's the difference between creating objects that you want to extrude with a line or a polyline and if you do find that you've done it with a polyline for some reason uh, it can always be changed into a region at a later date. So that is what we mean by uh, the extrusion tool. So as you can see here, we've got fairly uh, straightforward uh, objects, straightforwardly shaped objects here. Uh, these are just cuboids, uh, but if we, we might want to extrude just one of these faces by itself now. Uh, and what we can do to do that is uh, if we select the extrude tool again, and it says select objects to extrude, if you hold down control on your keyboard, uh, and then you can see that instead of selecting the whole object, I'm just selecting individual faces. So with control released, we select the whole object. With control held down, we just select individual faces. So if I select that face, and then I can extrude that face if I want to, so making that whole object longer like that. Uh, so this has uh, its own uses, but notice that it's created uh, two quite separate objects there. So it's sometimes useful you can extrude uh, something from an object and then delete the parent object if you want to, just leaving you with uh, the new one, uh, which can be quite helpful in some cases. One more uh, useful thing that we can do with the extrude tool uh, is if we want to create uh, an extruded face uh, that tapers, then we can do so. So if we select the extrude tool 
Uh, hold down control to extrude the face, so we'll select that face and hit enter because that's the object that we want to extrude and then if down here you see you've got taper angle we can select taper angle now you can set the value to whatever you want so let's say we set that to be 15 degrees hit enter and then however far we extend that it's always tapering by 15 degrees till it gets to a point where it can't taper anymore so we could uh, set that at a specific height or a specific length or we could just taper it out until it reaches its natural uh, conclusion like that uh, obviously it just depends on the needs of your model so there we go you can see we've created uh, a tapered face uh, from the face that we looked at originally so let's now have a look at the revolve tool so to find the revolve tool if we go back to our top view and what we'll do is we'll create uh, an object away from here that we uh, we want to uh, produce so what I'm going to do now is again going back to my polyline tool uh, I'm just going to draw a, a very simple shape again so again just arbitrary values here so something that looks a bit like this across like that there we go so that is uh, our profile that we're going to use for our revolve tool uh, so let's copy and paste that so copy copy that over here and we'll see what we mean in a moment so if we now go back to our uh, southeast isometric view we don't need that so if we want to now revolve this what we can do is uh, if we select our revolve tool revolve and select that object is the one we want to revolve now it's saying uh, where do you want your axis start point to be so obviously we can create this revolving around any axis that we want but if we create it around this axis so select the two points you can see there that what we've done is we've created now uh, this option where we can uh, extrude in a circular fashion uh, from where we were. Now if we want that to go all the way around we'll simply hit enter because this is already set to 360 degrees but you might want to set it to 270 uh, create a couple of Pac-Men there uh, joined by a bar or we could just create the full uh, 360 value so if I hit enter we've got the full 360 revolution so it looks uh, sort of like a very crude pair of wheels on an axle there but coming back to uh, this second drawing that we produced, uh, if I want to just create, uh, set off from here, uh, another line, so let's go back to our top view and have a look at this. If I create a line that is just offset from here some distance, again obviously you can be very accurate with this using your 2D CAD skills that you've developed. And now go back to southeast isometric, like so and then revolve again uh, what we can now do uh, is uh, create uh, this object so we're going to revolve around this that's the object we want to revolve and then it wants to know what axis do you want to revolve it around so we can revolve it around that one there and what you can see again if we leave that at 360 what we've done is we've created uh, a larger object because we've got a larger radius that we've revolved around but what we've done is we've created also as well as that is created a hole through the middle of it quite easily so that's just a, a little trick that that might come in useful for if you want to create a hole running through the center of a revolved object so I hope this has been useful to you uh, looking at the uh, extrude and revolve tools if you have any suggestions or comments then please let me know and I look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you very much goodbye